Everybody and welcome to Fairy Rugby on Fairy Sports. For today's Curry Cup Round 7 review, we are officially at the halfway stage of the Curry Cup and uh, a very interesting weekend that we did have and uh, pretty big victories, uh, important victories for the Bulls, and the Sharks, as well as the Greekers and uh, a very, very tight game uh, down in, uh, or up in Mombela with the Pumas just edging the Western Province. So we can really start to see how things are starting to shape up as we're sort of heading into... Uh, the second round of Curry Cup fixtures. And uh, this is going to be very interesting as well because the URC sides, for example, the Lions, after the URC, and so Curry Cup's the only thing that they, that, that, that they need to focus on about. So it'll be interesting to see how those teams start to change. Similarly, for example, this coming weekend, there's no URC action because there's a, pre, a, a week break until the quarterfinals. And uh, after the first weekend of quarterfinals, one of either the, the Bulls or the Stormers will officially be out of the of the uh, of the URC because they're playing against each other in a quarterfinal. So the four URC sides will start to strengthen, I think, you know, the Curry Cup team uh, as they sort of start to go on now. So, yeah, I think the second round of Curry Cup should be quite interesting. And this is why I think I was saying that, you know, the likes of a, of a Pumas and the Cheetahs really need to make, sort of, even the Greeks to a certain degree, uh, really need to sort of make the most of the first round when they're still going to weaken teams because the second round, things are about to get a lot more competitive. Before we look at some of the results as well as uh, the, the login where everybody is, Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So these were the results this past weekend. As I said, an incredibly close game happening in Mombela. Pumas edging out Western Province by just one point. Very impressive result that is for the province considering the fact that, you know, they it is, yeah, they carry cup side with quite a lot of rotation. And Pumas have been uh, the best side in the competition by quite a lot of margin. Uh, also a very interesting result. The Sharks beating the Cheetahs. Jojo jo Mangala really getting the most out of that Sharks side and really starting to click. Uh, Bulls beating the Lions. Uh, 30 points to 19 on the Saturday. And then the Greek was beating the Griffins. He did score quite a few points uh, on, on Sunday. So, yeah, the Lions struggling a little bit, but hopefully things will change a little bit now. The fact that they're going to um, hopefully as a, as a, hopefully be bringing in a couple of the, the bigger name players and stuff like that into the Curry Cup. And uh, we'll kind of sort of see how that goes. So in terms of how the log is looking, uh, this is how the log looks. And the Puma's still on top. Uh, with 29 points and uh, and uh, didn't get a bonus point this weekend, so uh, that was quite a big uh, loss for them. Gre uh, Cheetahs, however, are still pretty safe in second place. Sharks and the Greek was up to third and fourth. Uh, Bulls, Province, Lions um, rounding up the last three, and then Griffin sitting in eighth place. So Lions really need to start turning things around. They're sitting in 14 points, so they're not without they're not touching distance with the likes of the Greek was, but they're going to have to take a lot more points out of the games moving forward if they are trying to sneak their way into a playoff. For the Cheetahs, the Pumas. Uh, for the Pumas, you pretty, pretty, pretty well said. They're sitting at ten points uh, in front of uh, fourth with seven games remaining. So probably sitting about three games before wins. You know, potentially away from you know making sure that they will qualify for the uh, playoffs. Cheetahs as well. Um, we'll we, you know we'll be looking to try and sort of start to build a bit of distance between them and fourth place. But as I said, it'd be very interesting to see how the Bulls, Lions, Province start to sort of strengthen and the Sharks as well in the, in the coming weeks. So I'd like to really hope to see that the Lions, you know. To try and focus on the Curry Cup, to be honest, because we're not talking into the off-season, we're talking about recruitment, we're talking about trying to sort of attain players, get new players. The Curry Cup remains pretty achievable for the Lions in terms of being competitive, and, and same for maybe, you know, the likes of the Sharks, who've had a pretty poor season, not that they need to worry too much about recruitment, uh, but just in terms of building momentum and trying to build a bit more faith into the fans, give them something to be to celebrate. Uh, so in terms of the fixtures this weekend, once again, a fantastic game is set to be on Friday uh, evening with the Lions taking on the Pumas, should be a much stronger Lions side, and remember the Lions... Um, actually, even with the Curry Cup side, pushed the Pumas all the way, and Pumas had to come back right towards the end to beat them. Cheetahs taking on Griffins on Friday. You expect that to be a pretty one-sided result, but Sharks versus Reapers on that Saturday should be quite fun, and Western Pirates versus Bulls, probably the game of the weekend uh, at 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And, um, yeah, we'll continue playing the Curry Cup up until the 27th of May is the final, uh, sorry, the 2nd of June is the final group stage. I like 9th of June. It's the final group stage. Just keep going here. And uh, then we will move into sort of the semi-finals and the finals, uh, which will take place. I think the finals on about the 27th of the last weekend of June, uh, the weekend before international uh, rugby season does begin. So, yeah, I'll be interested to sort of see how that all works. But uh, let me know what, how your team's doing and what you think of the Curry Cup down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.